Hey everyone, welcome back to Programming Fields. I'm Omesh Rana and today I'm back with another interesting tutorial in our data table playlist using the Yazra package. If you have been following along, you already know how powerful server side data tables can be for managing and displaying data efficiently. And so far in our playlist, we have covered some amazing features which are server side data rendering to handle large data sets efficiently. Then we added actions handling like edit and delete buttons for user interaction. And also we implemented this inline edit. This allow users to make changes directly within the table. And after the successful update, this won't reload the entire page. Only the updated data will be reflected here. Okay. So that's a lot of progress, right? But today we are taking it a step further by implementing two new features which will be row reordering and column reordering functionality. So just imagine this, you have a long table of data and you want to customize the order of rows or move columns around to prioritize what matters most. These features are not just about convenience, they are about giving users control, enhancing their experience and boosting productivity. And guess what? Setting it up with Yazra data tables is easier than you think. So let's quickly break down what we will be doing in this video. Firstly, we will implement the row reordering functionality. This lets you drag and drop rows to change their order. And this will be perfect for sorting tasks, prioritize or custom arrangements. Then we will have column reordering and this allows users to drag the column headers to rearrange them. And this will be super useful when you want to temporarily prioritize certain data without permanently changing the table structure. Both features add flexibility to your tables and also these make them more dynamic and user friendly. Plus when combined with server side processing, these changes can be saved. So the order persists even when the page reloads. Alright, so let's quickly jump to the practical part. So in order to implement the row reordering and column reordering, we will have to include the data table JS. And as of now, in our current project, we have included the data table JS. So if I will come to the users blade file, here we have the bootstrap CDN. This is for CSS. Thereafter, we have added this data table.css. And if you scroll down before closing of this body tag, here we have the jQuery CDN. These are the bootstrap JS. And here we have the data table.js. But in the default data table.js, we won't have the reorderable functionality. Therefore, we will have to include additional JS provided by data table.js. So let's come to the official website of the data table.js. So in the browser, let's search for data table.js. Let's click on this data tables. Here we have the download option. Let's click on this. Inside the download option, if you scroll down, here we will have to choose the styling framework. So as of now, we have used Bootstrap 5. Let's select this. Thereafter, we will have to choose the package. Here we are going to select data tables. Now if you scroll down, we will have the extensions option. So in the extensions, we will have to select those features which we want to implement in our project. And after choosing any of the features from here, you will have to download that file or you can simply include that in the CDN form. So this is the default CDN form here. Okay. And as of now, I'm going to choose row reorderable and column reorderable functionality. So firstly, I will select row reorder. And if I will scroll down here, I'm going to choose the CDN option. And I will select minify JS. And here we have the concatenate option. That means if you want to select multiple features from the data table, then all those CDNs will be concatenated in a single JS. And if you want to combine the JS in a single file together, then you can choose this concatenate option. As of now, I will deselect this. So this will create the separate JS file for this. Okay. I already chosen the data table.css. So as of now, I will simply copy this data table reorderable CSS. Let's copy it. 
come to the application a scroll up here after the data table dot css i will paste this row reorderable css this is data table row reorderable css okay this is fine now let's come to the documentation again next we will have to copy the row reorderable js file so let's copy the js from here let's come to the application and before closing of the body tag after this data table js let's paste this row reorderable js all right this is fine now in the next step we will have to add the property here inside the data table initialization so inside this object let's add the property as row reorder and let's add it to true okay now let's come to the application let's refresh it and let's try to reorder this so in the first td if you'll try to reorder this just like this you can see now this row is draggable and droppable if you will select any of the row from here you can see we can easily drag and drop anywhere inside this table all right now let's try to drop it here inside this table all right if i will drop it here in the first row position you will notice that row number 4 is not dropped in the row 1 position all right currently this enabled the drag feature but we are unable to drop that in the exact position and this is happening because when we try to drop that row this is again triggering one ajax call so if i will inspect the developer console and let's active on the network tab now let me try to drag and drop any row so here i will select this row number 3 and i will try to drop in the row 1 position okay and when i dropped it you can see this triggered the ajax call all right so due to this ajax call here this reset that row reorder so we will have to prevent this ajax call when we dropped any row inside this row reorder functionality and for this we will have to make some change inside that property so let's come to the code editor inside this row reorder functionality i will remove this true and i will form this object here just like this and we will have to add one property as update to false here just like this okay now let's come to the browser let's refresh this let me clear the network tab now i will try to drag this row 3 to row 1 yes we can see now the row number 3 has been dragged to row 1 and here we don't have any ajax call triggered it so this prevented that resetting of the row position now we are easily able to drag and drop it let me close this and let's try to drag any of the row and let's try to drop it anywhere okay so this is so simple now here if we'll notice if we'll try to drag and drop from the second column that means from the second td here the drag and drop is not working only this is working on the beginning of this first td that means if we'll try to drag and drop from the first td only then only this is working okay rest if you will try to drag and drop from any td you won't be able to drag and drop it so for this we will have to make the entire tr2 draggable and droppable so that from any td cell we can drag and drop this row so let's come to the code editor again here inside this row reorder object i will add one more property as selector inside this selector i will pass the selector on that we want to perform the drag and drop so i will pass tr okay now the row reorderable functionality will be working on the entire row let's come to the browser let's refresh now let's try to drag and drop from here okay now we can see 
from any td we can drag and drop the entire row okay so this is working properly now here there is one issue if we we'll try to perform edit and delete functionality you can see this is affecting the action button clickable why because we have added the selector for this row reorderable to entire row so that is applied in this entire row including the action buttons so we have to segregate the action button so that the row reorderable functionality won't be applied on button all right so this will exclude the buttons only and this will remain same for the other tds so we will have to segregate this by adding some functionality here so i will come to the code editor so after this function here i will add some function here to prevent that confliction of the click event so i will add dollar table dot on mouse down event and this will check from the button so on mouse down of button and then we will have to create the function and i will pass the event here all right inside this i will disable the row reorder when we will click on the button so i will use the data table instance as table so i will apply table dot row reorder dot disable just like this okay so this will disable the row reorder when button will be clicked all right let's come to the application let's refresh now and let's try to click on edit button yes we can see now the edit functionality is working here all right here we can update this value same thing for the delete this is also working now after adding this functionality this has disabled the entire row reorderable functionality so we will have to enable that as well so let's come to the code editor again and we will have to define the mouse up event as well so after clicking on the button again that row reorderable will be enabled so we will have to enable the row reorder after firing the button click and here we will have to change the event to mouse up and this will enable this let's save and come to the browser let me refresh this now let's try to click on edit first and before that let's check the draggable functionality yes this is working now let's try to click on edit and on edit now let me try to drag this row yeah we are able to drag and drop the row here all right and if we we'll update this row after updating this has updated this value and again if we we'll try to drag and drop it yes we are easily able to drag and drop that row similarly if we we'll try to delete any record yes the delete is working so we have implemented the row reorderable functionality using data table.js all right and here we have prevented that event overlapping for the row reorder and the button clicks now next we will implement the column reorder so in the column reorder we will be able to drag and drop this column so the header will be draggable and droppable so let's implement this as well let's come to the official documentation again inside this i will select the column reorder functionality okay and if we scroll down here this has given the column reorder css let's copy and let's paste this inside application so after the row reorder css i will paste this column reorder css all right similarly we will have to add the js so we have the column reorder js here let's copy and let's paste it again so i will paste it after this row reorder js 
okay this is fine we will have to add the property as cold reorder so this will specify the column reorderable functionality and we will have to set it to true this is fine now let's come to the browser let's refresh the application and here let's try to drag and drop the column now here i will try to drag this name column in the email position yes we can see entire column has been dragged and dropped in the second column position similarly if we'll try to drag this to another column position yes we can drag this all right so this is working properly okay and that's it we have successfully added row reordering and column reordering functionality to our yazra data table setup we used the row reorder and column reorder plugins we updated our data table initializations to enable these features these features make your tables much more interactive and user friendly and your users will love the added flexibility if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button subscribe and share it with your developer friends and if you have any questions or suggestions for the future videos drop them in the comments below i would love to hear from you so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more laravel and data table tutorials until next time happy coding